Last night, the Phoenix Suns completed the sweep over the Denver Nuggets, and once again, the Nuggets lose in round two, which feels like it's always been happening. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? Like two years ago, the Nuggets ended up beating the Spurs in round one, but ended up losing to the Blazers in round two, which was a fantastic series. Last year, they completed a 3-1 comeback, beating the Clippers, but losing to the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. And this year, the Nuggets get swept by the Phoenix Suns. Obviously, they were without their second best player, Jamal Murray. They were without some wings like P.J. Dozier and Will Barden. So, I don't think anybody was really expecting the Nuggets to come out of the Western Conference this year, even though they had the MVP. Fortunately, no, uh, Jokic ended up getting ejected last night. I thought that should have been a flagrant one, not a flagrant two. And, yeah, like, the Nuggets get eliminated, and we are doing a Nuggets rebuild today. And I think I'm going to... I, I think we're going to run the team back. And if we can't get over that hump in the second round, or maybe even go to the finals, I might explore an upgrade at the point guard position involving Jamal Murray. And I've talked about it before, but a Jamal Murray for Damian Lillard trade is something I think I would consider. We have the 29th pick in this draft, I guess because we were like the one seed in the Western Conference. We just hired Josh Longstaff, and actually in this save, Jokic won MVP as well. And I'll pick up Stephen Dawkins. Okay, so let's go to the NBA draft. We're going to have to work on a Jokic Supermax at some point. We're going to have to work on a Michael Porter Jr. extension, an Aaron Gordon extension. We got a lot to do here in Denver. So, like, I don't know what we're going to end up trying to do. Like, if I just moved Murray and, like, I don't know, we move him for a shooting guard and we go all in with Monte Morris. Not a terrible idea, like... Zach Levine, no, no, there's really probably no point in doing that trade, but like, I, I wanted to see if Portland would uh, consider Damian Lillard, probably not, so we would do this, I would not throw in Michael Porter Jr., I would throw in Zeke Naji. I would throw in Bull Bull, and I'd throw in two first round picks, I'd throw in three first round picks, and yeah, it's gonna be so hard to trade for Damian Lillard, maybe it would happen in like two years from now, so I have the 29th pick in the draft, I'll see you guys with who I take here in 2021, also, the draft lottery it's in eight days. It's actually coming up, like, so, so soon. I'll, I'll be doing a live stream for it, um, even though my Knicks won't be in it this year, but I'll still be live streaming my reaction. It's really weird, though, saying that the Knicks won't be in the uh, Jeff Water. It's f for the first time since, like, 2013. Well, I guess they didn't have their first round pick in 2016, so we could say since 2016. So we take Josh Christopher with the 29th pick, taking a West Coast guy, because uh, he played at Arizona State, correct? I believe so. Yeah, Brigham Denver staying in that West uh, that west side. Uh, Composite, we're going to pick up his option. Jermichael Green and Will Barton accept their player options. Okay, we'll pick him up on Dozier and Howard as well. Qualify offers we have none now do we have anybody cap space to go out and get a shooting guard the best one is Bryn Forbes Ugh, okay I mean I might go out and sign Bryn Forbes we could also bring back Paul Millsap on a one-year deal I think we will look to do that and then I mean the best shooting guard here yeah is probably Bryn Forbes so we're gonna give him a two-year deal we get Millsap we get Forbes we're gonna let uh Rivers and McGee walk and Shaquille Harrison and we are going to send those two guys so Kawhi ends up going back to the Spurs DeRozan to the Mavericks all right and if we take a look at our salary cap table here or our breakdown like Jokic will be a free agent not next year but the following year so we're gonna try to work on that Supermax extension Gordon free agent next year. So is Michael Porter Jr. So we're going to have to end up paying those guys a lot of money. I'm hoping that this team is good enough to at least win a playoff series next year. But we'll have to wait and see. Player progression. Jokic 96. I would think that Porter Jr. and Murray should be 90 overalls very soon. But that will probably be the only guys on the team that will hit a 90 overall in the video with this current roster. Alright, so training camps. We do have three here to use on, on tap potential. And I think I'm going to send Zeke Najee here. Ah, uh, where is he? Zeke Naji, yeah, because he might end up being our long-term four. Probably not, though. Probably not. I'm going to send Porter Jr. there. That was stupid. Um, and then I will wrap it out with Bull Bull. I would have loved if we still had RJ Hampton. Obviously, he was in the Aaron Gordon trade. So, let me figure out what I want this lineup to look like. All right, so we're going to roll an 11-man rotation. Composite will not be getting minutes. So, it's going to be Murray, Barton, Porter Jr., Gordon, and Jokic. Morris, Bull, Forbes, Green, Millsap, and Naji. You know what? I'm actually not even going to play Jermichael Green. Uh, we're going to go 12 to Najee and Millsap, and then we're going to go 30 to Gordon, and then 33 to Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray. System efficiency is 3.5 star pace in space. Uh, we will go to 4 star balance, though. And then just taking a look at the contract extensions, Gordon will resign, so I'm going to want to give Gordon a... Um, we'll give him a 3-year deal front-loaded. Uh... 
That will actually give him a four-year deal front loaded, and he accepts that. Uh, will Barton would resign on the minimum? I mean, I might as well, even if he doesn't crack the rotation next year. We'll work on the Jokic one and Porter Jr. It's looking like we're going to have to get him back in free agency. I'm going to change Mike Malone's uh, preferred system to balanced. It, it is at a 75 proficiency, which could definitely get me up to four and a half stars next year, which actually would be pretty nice. I did not expect to get there that early so we'll see so i'll see you guys at the end of the year and we'll see what the nuggets can do in the playoffs once again and will i need to come up with a scapegoat and look to move one of our top guys in the offseason we'll see all right guys so it is the mid-season mark and i can offer Jokic a three-year extension we're gonna give him about 35 mil a year we're even gonna front load this too and he should accept that boom so we get dead or we get nicole Jokic under contract for three more seasons that's four seasons total on actually a steal of a deal in real life he'll probably be making around 50 million on this new supermax contract he'll probably be one of the highest paid players in the nba so this is kind of a steal michael porter jr says he won't resign right now but we'll make sure to offer him a max deal or match any deal he gets in the offseason and we end up as the one seed at the end of the 2022 season Jokic takes home his second straight mvp award i mean i'm not complaining we don't get coach of the year i don't know if malone got it last year i'm not sure but Jokic under his new contract averaged 12.7 rebounds 8.3 assists down statistically from last year but I'm fine with that he still won MVP, so he's still obviously really good. I don't know if we're going to get any other Denver Nuggets here, and we do not. So we are the eight or one seed taking on the eight seed of Dallas Mavericks, who have added DeMar DeRozan, slow-mo Kyle Anderson, a couple former San Antonio Spurs on their team. Um, and then they also, oh yeah, I'm a Marcus Aldridge. Any other former Spurs? Crowd, I never played for the Spurs right now. He's played for a lot of teams recently. Um, but yeah, nothing there. Well, he got traded in 2K, so that's kind of why. Uh, player stats, we can see that Murray averaged 22 and a half points, uh, almost a career high from last year. Six assists, that's a career high. 43 from downtown, 89 from the line, 51 from the field. That's a career high in free throw. No, no, it's not. I, I lied. But a career high in three point percentage, and it's a career high in two shooting percentage. I am always down for that. Michael Porter Jr., 17.8 points, 6.7 rebounds, 49, 40, 81 splits. Aaron Gordon, 15 points, six rebounds, four assists, 37 from the field, or excuse me, from three, 51 from the line on his new contract extension those are really good numbers and we know he's providing us some great defense there's will barton got him back from the minimum i mean if he's putting that up that on the minimum i am cool with that there's bull bull he shot 48 from three 69 percent true shooting percentage monty morris our sixth man uh big fan of him even though his efficiency wasn't great this year and was notably like a step down from last year uh and then we got forbes Najee, and Millsap. Uh, i don't know if forbes is gonna be ugh. He was not very good for us. So we're taking on the Mavericks in round one. We end up taking a 2 0 lead, 3 1 3 2, and we end up beating them in six. And we got the Phoenix Suns here in the conference semifinals. Looking to get revenge for them sweeping the Nuggets here in the 2021 playoffs. Jokic was phenomenal in round one. 66% true shooting. There's Jamal Murray, Aaron Gordon, Michael Porter Jr., and then there's Bo Bowl. So let's see what happens in round two against the Suns. Uh, they have added Tim Hardaway Jr. and. Kessler Edwards. We'll see who takes home the crown and go to the conference finals. And it is the Denver Nuggets. They end up beating the Suns in six. That is what I'm talking about. You can see Jokic averaged 26 points, 13 rebounds, and nine assists in those six games. MPJ putting up 20 points efficiently. Uh, there's Jamal Murray. And Aaron Gordon having himself a great playoff. Like, we got him for a steal of that contract. We have a battle of New York over here in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's pretty fun. And let's see what happens here in the conference finals. Taking on the Pels, who have added... Uh, Moses Moody. They have also added Al Horford and Alfred Payton. Did they ever have Alfred Payton? No, right? He just went to college in, I think, Louisiana. I knew Al Lafayette. Oh, Louisiana Lafayette. Okay. Yeah. And I thought, no, wait. He did play for the Pelt. No, no. Yeah, no, he did play for them in 2019. Okay. I'm tripping. Uh, so let's see what happens here in the conference finals. And we end up losing in six. Uh, game one, we end up losing by 22 points. Murray went off. Jokic, not great, but he almost had a triple-double game, too. We ended up losing by three. Oh, that close, that'll hurt. Lost both at the Pepsi Center. That's just, oh, my God. We were down 3-0. We ended up winning two unanswered. And then game uh, six, we ended up losing by just four. A three-point L and a four-point L. Those just hurt so much. And the Pelicans end up beating the Nets in the finals. Zion is your finals MVP. The Nets were up 2-0 and then lost four unanswered. So let's take a look at the draft lottery here, where I believe we do have our first round pick. And we do. It's at pick 28. Kings get one, Hawks get two, and Warriors get three. Uh, we're good with Mike Malone still as our head coach, even though... I would have, uh, I guess the season didn't end in failure. We were a one seed though, but I always want to, you know, win it, uh, win the Western Conference at least once, not lose. So we could still explore 
a Damian Willard trade. I mean, it's going to be so hard to pull off if we're being quite honest. I mean, we could just see. I doubt he'll even come. I can't find Trailblazers for the life of me. But I can't believe, uh, or I won't really believe yet, that they would have a trade for me in the trade finder. So if we were to go to just propose trade, we offer Jamal Murray. Is Did he go up maybe in trade value to them? Four stars at four and a half. I would give you first, two first. I would give you three first round picks. Uh, I don't really have any players to give you at the moment. I'd give you Josh Christopher. I'd give you Will Barden. Would they do this? Uh, he has a no trade clause, so you know, it's like they won't even do Brent Forbes probably. Okay. Okay, I traded for Damian Lloyd. I did not think that they were going to do that. I gave up Murray, three first round picks, uh, Josh Christopher, wow, Bryn Forbes, and oh my god, we just got Damian Lloyd. I did not think that they were going to accept that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's go. We pull up the Damian Lower trade. Our bench is going to be a little bit weak, but that's why we got to bring back, like, or Zeke Naji and, and uh, Bull Bull and those guys. So we pick up the team option on Zeke Naji. Uh, we are going to have to offer Michael Porter Jr. a lot of money. Composite, we're going to give the qualifying offer to. Everybody but Marcus Howard. Wow, I did not think that the Blazers were going to do that. Let's go. We got Damian Lord on the team. And this is a trade that I was like, should the Nuggets call up Portland and try to do if Damian Lord says, I respectfully want to trade? Now, they would be trading in division, which would hurt. But I don't think they're too big of rivals, you know? I mean, they haven't played each other twice in the playoffs in the last three years. But I wouldn't call them rivals. So, we do have uh, bird rights on P.J. Dozier. Uh, we do have it on Jermichael Green. We might need to bring him back. If we're looking at affordable guards, uh, we could bring in Duncan Robinson. That would be kind of massive. That would be kind of massive. So, I'm going to offer Duncan Robinson a deal. We're about 8 mil. I don't even know if we'll be able to afford that. Um, Jermichael Green, I'll offer nothing yet. So, we get Duncan Robinson. Uh, oh, we'd have to, okay, so we don't, we can't sign him, because I'm not renouncing the rights on any one of these guys besides Marcus Howard. So we're going to give Jermichael Green a two-year deal and P.J. Dozier a two-year deal. We signed them. We are not renouncing the rights on these guys. I hate that 2K wants me to do that. Uh, Porter Jr. is going to get a deal from the Miami Heat. We are going to match that and make sure we bring those guys back. Okay, sweet. And for Bobo, does he, he wants 32 mil. I don't think I'll be getting him back on that. I'll probably just be getting him back on the uh, qualifying offer. So we get Composite back. Do we have any bird rights? We do. So we can go out and get KCP. Uh, I guess that's probably the option here. Um, yeah, I'll see Johnson. Yeah, I'm going to take KCP. 29 years old. Let's give him a two-year deal. Probably an upgrade over Bryn Forbes, at least defensively. Uh, and we get KCP. Boom. So at this current moment, we got one, two at the moment. Uh, three, four, five six seven eight nine. okay yeah we are definitely good on player talent going into next year uh so let's just get bull bell back on the qualifying offer steph curry signed with the wizards harden signed with the celtics okay okay and randall signs with the bulls and boom we get bull bull back on the qualifying offer so i wanted to see if i threw up uh let's see it would be probably will barden and pj dozier in or no no it was gonna be Jim Michael Green and PJ Dozier in the trade finder. Like, we can get Matisse Thibault. I wouldn't mind getting a scoring wing. I can get Duncan Robinson. I can assign a trade. I mean, yeah, we could do that because I was going after him anyway. So, you know what? Let's do this trade with the Miami Heat. We're getting Duncan Robinson and a first round pick for Jim Michael Green and PJ Dozier. Thank you very much. Taking a look at player progression, we have 390 overalls. Uh, there's Aaron Gordon, Bull Bull. Everybody getting some green besides Will Barton, who probably won't be in the rotation next year due to him regressing and some other players progressing, where I just value some other guys uh, going in the rotation. And we already have our backup shooting guard. Or I guess Duncan Robinson's our starting shooting guard. So I'm just kidding right there. We do have three trading camps. Once again, shout out to Randy Martin. We look at untapped potential. I'll be sending Bull Bull there. He goes up to an A. I will also be sending Zeke Naji there. And then finally, I will be sending Monte Morris. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll send Lonzi Morris there because Michael Porter Jr. was already an A+. So let's see what our lineup is going to look like. It's going to be Lillard, Robinson, Porter Jr., Gordon, and Jokic. I like this. Not the greatest defensive starting five, but I'm a fan of it. I'm going to give Bobo 23, Monte Morris 24. Uh, yeah, we can actually not even play Combazo. Uh, so we're going to roll with... Um, oh, we have Jeff Green on the team too. Uh, so KCP and Zeke Naji can both get 17 minutes a night. We got 25 to Morris, 23 to Bobo. Let's go 34 to Jokic, 33 to Porter Jr., 34 to Lillard. I want to go thir uh, 30 to Gordon. And we can go one more to Duncan Robinson. I'm going to increase Duncan Robinson's shot tendency to a 65. What's his shot three tendency? Because I don't want him to be averaging eight points for us. His shot three point tendency is in 99. Okay, we can roll with that. What do you average last year? Eight and a half points. Yeah, he can do a lot better than that. So, system proficiency balanced is four stars. Uh, Lillard fits a great. Robinson, not the best in the world. 
Um, but okay, we, I'm fine with four stars. I like this team a lot. With Damian Lillard, Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., we should be able to be the one seed again and go to the NBA Finals. So we end up as the one seed, and Jokic wins his third straight MVP award. Even with Damian Lillard here, he is now three-peated in MVP. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't think I've seen that from, like, Jokic before. I've seen, like... Now, I feel like at 2K21, you do get a lot of parity with who wins MVP. Now, Defensive Player of the Year, yeah, that's always Jonathan Isaac. But MVP is usually a little bit different. So, Mike Malone takes some Coach of the Year. We do not get Executive of the Year, so Tim Connolly doesn't get anything. Uh, we do get Jokic on NBA first team. We don't get Lillard on second or third team. Really? Oh, come on. All right. So, we see no Nuggets on the all defensive teams. I'd like to pick up an all defensive player in the offseason. Well, we'll see about that. We're taking on the Warriors. We've got Kennedy Chandler, Clay Wiggins. Oh, yeah, they don't have Curry anymore. They have Chris Ball because uh, Curry is in Washington. Taking a look at these players' stats, we can see that Jokic was our leading score. 13 and a half rebounds and 8 assists. 46 from 3. 69% true shooting. Uh, Lillard averaged 21 and a half points and 10 assists. 52, 43, 92 splits. 68% true shooting. Oh, my God. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. was phenomenal. So efficient. Also, there's Aaron Gordon, Zeke Naji, Duncan Robinson. He shot 43 from downtown. Bull Bull, Monty Morris, KCP. And I'm going to keep the same rotation, I believe. I just want to see Damian Lillard's shot tendency. So it's at a 90. We can also up to like a 96. Um, and then, yeah, so let's see what happens against the Warriors in round one. We take a game one win by 30 points. Porter Jr. drops 34. Lillard with 29. Jokic had 12, 9, and 9. Okay, Wiseman had 30. Wow, him and Clay combined for 65. But we should be able to beat them nonetheless. We're up 3-1, 4-1. to one, four to one. Boom! We end up winning at five. Game five, we end up dropping 156 on them. Jokic averaged 15 rebounds and nine and a half assists in round one. We can see that Damian Lloyd averaged 23 points and 10 and a half assists. And then Michael Porter Jr. averaged 32. Well, he's a blossoming superstar. The Blazers did not make the playoffs uh, with Jamal Murray. We're taking on the Grizzlies. who got uh, John Morant, Marcus Smart, Yusuf Nurkic, Brandon Homie Hoffeld. Okay, good team, but we should definitely beat them. 3 -0. Oh, boom. We sweep them. It wasn't even close. All right, come on. This has to be a championship move, getting Damian Lillard. There is no way we lose to the Pelicans again. Correct? Right? I'm hoping. Uh, so Jokic averaged 26 and a half points. He averaged a triple-double against the Grizzlies. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Lillard averaged 20 and 9. There's Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, Robinson. Wow. Okay, so taking on the Pelicans, who got Lonzo, Mojave King. Uh, let's see. We should die beat. Okay. We should be able to beat them. Come on. 3 to 1 us. Don't blow a 3 1 lead. Boom. We win in 5, and we're in the NBA Finals, taking on the Washington Wizards. So Curry and Beal. Jonas Valanciunas is there. I mean, this should be a winnable series as we win game 1 by 22. Yes. Getting Damian Lillard was what this team needs. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm speaking too soon. Don't go down 2-1. to one. Okay. All right. Curry dropped 50. Why is Zeke Naji our leading score? Don't go down 3-1. to one. Okay. Huge 2-2 two -two win. Come on. I'm not simcasting it. If I simcast it, I'm going to lose. Simulate through game. No. Now we got to simcast game six in Washington. Oh, God. This isn't good. This isn't good. We need a good third quarter. Okay. Okay. Don't blow this, please. 111-111. Oh, 111, 111. oh, we're down by four. Oh, down by four. Okay. Oh, my God. We take the lead. Okay. Come on, can we force a game seven? Yes, yes, we're doing well. Don't let them come back. Don't let them come back. Don't let them hit a three. They hit a three. Oh my God, we hit a buzzer beater. Yes, we win on a buzzer beater. Let's go. Jokic gets an and one. Why does it always seem like a late game win in some guys happens on free throws? I don't care though. Wow, Jokic gets his own rebound and he puts up an and one and we're going to a game seven. Oh my god. Beal at 52. What's with their guard scoring 50 on us? Lillard at 39 and 11. Jokic a 30 point. Almost triple double. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on. Game seven. I'm nervous here. I'm nervous. We're at home though, so I trust that a lot. Good first quarter. Not a good second quarter at all. We're down by seven. Come on. Come back in the third. Yes. Good come back in the third. Down by five. Come on. Yes. Oh my god. It's so high scoring. We're up by four. Up by four. Up by six. And it's looking like we are going to be winning the 2023 NBA Finals. Unless I blow a six point lead in 40 seconds. I mean, that will hurt if Curry hits that. That is no good. Rebound of Michael, Michael Porter Jr. They're going to start fouling. I mean, I guess you could do that. Lillard's got 39 and 10. I kind of want to just take a heat check with Lillard. Don't foul me. Don't foul me, please. Yes, you're not going to foul. Uh, I kind of just want to pull up. No, they're fouling. Kick it to uh, Aaron Gordon. Uh, are they going to foul? I don't know. Let's kick back to Lillard. That was risky. Okay, they're not going to foul. So Lillard pull up three. You know what we're doing. Lillard pull up three. Come on, come on. That would have been sick. I don't know why. I just wanted to take a dumb heat check with Lillard. And they run a three-point play for Curry. How did we not see that coming? Ah, oh, but Curry misses again. Ah, that could... Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. Watch. 
hope you'll hit that. No, hope you'll miss that. All right, we are chilling right now. They can't seem to hit a three. It's up to Denny of Dia from downtown. That is no good. Are they going to foul? They are going to foul. Okay, so Damian Lillard is going to clinch it. He's going to get his first NBA ring. Every player on this Nuggets team will be getting their first title, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, I'm actually 99% sure. Lillard knocks that down, and we're going to be winning the finals in seven games. But that is not it. We're not going to end the video right here. We're obviously trying to uh, win back-to-back. -back. As Jokic is your finals MVP, we end up winning in seven. Like I said, I would like to get like an all-defensive player here and make maybe Duncan Robinson the sixth man. Like get a stud shooting guard, def like defensive shooting guard. That would be very nice to get. I mean, we don't have our first round pick anyway. It's going to go to the Blazers at 30. The Blazers without Damian Lillard. Where they, oh my god, they don't even have their draft pick at four. It goes to Minnesota. That sucks so much. So we're obviously going to be bringing back Mike Malone as our head coach. I mean, we could try a trade if we wanted to. Uh, like if I moved KCP and Dun mm, I don't really want to do I don't want to move Duncan Robinson. I like him a lot. And I like Monte Morris. And I like everybody here. At least in our starting five. So let's go to rookie signings. Uh, we are going to pick up Matt Levins Jr. Sure. Team bar options, Zeke Najee. I mean, we could, if we're going to keep Bobo, we could move Najee. For like a shooting guard type player. Uh, let's see who's here in free agency. Bull Bull, we're just going to try to get back on the restricted offer. Barton and Composo, I don't need to bring back. It's, uh, who's even offering Composo a deal? I didn't offer him that, so I don't know why uh, it says I did. If we are looking at affordable players, uh, we could go after Daniel Tice. I mean, if we're looking at a good shooting guard that has like a good perimeter D, I guess Eric Bledsoe would be the option here. Josh Jackson, geez. I mean, like he's seven years younger. He does have B-minus permanent D. So if I offer Josh Jackson a deal, maybe he'll crack the rotation. Maybe he won't. We are going to read out to rights on Barton and Gambazzo and look to bring back Bull Bull on the qualifying offer. I'm just glad Jokic didn't hit free agency. We got him back earlier. Uh, Harden goes from Boston to the Cavs. All right. I wonder how much he was making with Boston last year. If it was like the minimum, I'd be so upset. Um, Capella goes to the Pacers. And Nikola Vujovic resets with the Bulls, everybody here really resigned with their team. So we're just going to get back Bull Bull on the qualifying offer. All right, so yeah, Bull Bull accepts the qualifying offer. Player progression, Willard is a 93. Porter Jr., 92. Yeah, so we have that triple 90s right there. I wonder what Jamal Murray is up to. He's up to an 89. Yeah, that team not looking good. They're probably going to be bad for a little bit. Now let's go here to training camps. Uh, we probably won't be finishing up this year trying to go back to back. So let's see what we can do. I mean, we could just like send Nikola Jokic to low post defense. And then we could send uh michael porter jr to perimeter defense yeah he's not really great on the defensive end whatsoever so taking a look or taking a look here at our rotation once again i guess we're gonna run it back i don't really think i'm gonna play josh jackson like he doesn't really entice me any bit more than kcp does so i'm gonna give kcp like 15 uh bull bull could get 23 we'll go 24 to monty morris now as you can get 17 we got four minutes here uh let's go 30 to gordon and then let's go 28 to Duncan Robinson. System proficiency is at four and a half stars. No, it is four star balance. I'll see you guys at the end of the 2024 season. And we'll see it, or see if we can go back to back. And I mean, if we go back to back, then I'm probably going to have to do another season. Because we're going to have to three-peat. Duh. And once again, Nikola Jokic wins MVP. And we are the one seed. That's his fourth straight MVP title. That's kind of absurd. I, I haven't really seen this from Jokic, and I'm glad it's when I'm controlling him. Malone takes home coach of the year. We'll see uh, Jokic on first team. Does Damian Miller get an All-NBA team this year? He does not. Neither does Michael Porter Jr. We get nobody there on the all-defensive or all-rookie team. So we're taking on the San Antonio Spurs. I believe we beat another Texas team in round one last year in the Dallas Mavericks. They still, or they brought back Kawhi Leonard. They got New Orleans in the well. We take a look at the player sides. Damian Miller actually led us in scoring 44 from three, 94 from the line, and 52 from the field. Uh, yeah, this is like the big three and uh, i love this big three how old is damian mode he's 33 uh Jokic is 29 and porter jr is 25 and then you have nice complimentary pieces in aaron gordon zeke naji bull bull duncan robinson monte morris and kcp so can we knock off the san antonio spurs in round one we're up three to one boom we win in five and we are going to be taking on the okc thunder in round two michael porter jr and willard go off wow willard didn't miss a free throw in that series um and Jokic had himself just an absurd series, 72% true shooting, Lillard at 76%, and Porter Jr. with 70%. The big three is too good. I thought about making Bull Bull power forward and playing him, but I'm not gonna. We're taking on the Thunder, who probably have a completely different team. Yeah, they've added Zach Levine, Jonathan Kuminga, Evan Mobley, Derek Whitehead, Juju Murray, Evan Fournier, and Andre, Andre Jackson. So can we knock them off in 2024's round two? And we lose in seven. What? We actually, ah, oh, I really thought we were going to uh, repeat today. We won game one. We were up 2-0. Damn. And then we lose both games in OKC. And then we lose game five. And then we get blown out in game six. Damn. Okay. I really thought, oh, wait, we lost in seven.
So what was I? I was wrong there. We were up to, oh, then it was two two. Oh, we ended up winning game five by three. Damn. Uh, lost game six. Got blown out in game seven. Lost by six at home. That's a game we don't lose. Damn, that sucks. But uh, yeah, that is good for me. Hope you guys did enjoy the Nuggets rebuild. Uh, the Pelicans win it off for I believe the second time in this video. So the Nuggets, like you can let me know what they should do down below, but they're right there. They really are. It's unfortunate like last year. I mean, they were up. 1-0, it was 1-1 against the Lakers. I mean, we really didn't think that they had a shot at beating the Lakers. Two years ago, they were one game away from beating the Blazers. Who knows? Maybe they make it more of a series with the Warriors than the Blazers who got swept by them. And that's why the Warriors didn't have KD at the time he was hurt. But yeah, this year, like, with the Lakers out, this was a prime chance for the Nuggets to win the Western Conference. But... Jamal Murray being hurt after having a career year or start to the year, it, it really put a damper on things for them. And we kind of knew that they weren't going to really make it out of round two without Jamal Murray on this team, no matter how good like Jokic has been this year and Michael Porter Jr. They really need Jamal Murray or that second score. So I thought maybe that they'll end up trading uh, Jamal Murray with Damian Lillard if that opportunity presents itself. Who knows? I think it'd be interesting to see, but... They're, these guys are still young. Uh, you could still roll out the big three of Murray, Porter Jr., and Jokic. So, yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you for, all for watching. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.